this actually looks really good, I gotta say, for the Oscars. Best picture, best director, best actor, best actress. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Ryan here. So I guess I'm actually on as this already. Uh, so every year, I always like going over uh, this, believe it or not, uh, the ballot of what's going to happen come the Oscars on March 27th, which is going to happen in a couple weeks here. And once it, once it actually gets closer, once it, on the week of uh, the Oscars, I always like to uh, fill this out to see how good I actually can be when the Oscar show actually happened. Who will the winner be? So with you being here right now with me, how about if I go over a few of these if you do not know the nominees uh, for the Oscars? Okay, so which one should I choose first? Okay, so uh, Best Visual Effects. That's always a fun one to actually uh, cover. Dune, Free Guy, No Time to Die, uh, Chan Chin and The Legend of the Ten Rings, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Spider-Man just recently came out. Dude, this is well. That's going to be a fun little category, I got to say. Uh, Best Sound, Belfast, Dune, No Time to Die, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. And I noticed uh, throughout uh, this whole list as well, I noticed that uh, West Side Story has totally wiped out almost all the categories. Almost like what happened with uh, Titanic a long time ago, this as well too. Titanic cover, at least I think, got 12 or 13 nominations as it is, which is really cool, I got to say. And I'm really excited what's going to happen with that West Side Story because it actually was a really good uh, movie. So anyways, uh, let me go over some other ones here. Uh, best, uh, best Production Design, uh, Doom, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, The Tragedy of Mick, Mick Beth, and West Side Story. And again, I said West Side Story is in the category of Best Production Design this as well. Hmm, what's an fun one? Uh, best Original Score, Don't Look Up. That's a Netflix movie, by the way. Uh, Dune. Encanto, the Disney uh, Encanto that came out in November, uh, uh, Parallel Mothers, <laughs> The Power of the Dog. That looks like a best original score. That looks quite interesting. I, I bet you Dune's going to really wrap out a lot of these uh, categories as well, too, because uh, Dune's another one that's been nominated a number of times on this list. Can't wait to see what's going to happen with that as well, too, with uh, Dune. So it's probably going to be a toss-up between uh, Dune and West Side Story. There are a lot of pictures that are... are Really worthy with this. Uh, there are also a good amount of these pictures I have not seen. But once we get the best picture, I'm going to uh, point out what movies I've actually seen. So uh, let's go on to another one uh, category here. Uh, best makeup and hair sap styling. Coming to America. <laughs> Coming to, so, meaning this is the second one. Coming to America. Uh, Cruella. Dune. The Eye of Tammy Faye. And The House of Gucci. Which I have seen House of Gucci. Most of the... I've seen everything in this category except the I of the uh, Tammy Faye and uh, Coming to America, but everything else I have seen. So this is going to be a fun little category. This as well. Let me see. Uh, best film editing. Don't look up. Uh, Dune. Keen Richard. The Power of the Dog. And Tick Tick Boom. That's fun. <laughs> see, let me see if I can find another good category to uh, cover. Uh, best cinematography. Uh, Dune. Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and The Tragedy of Macbeth, and West Side Story. That's going to be a really tough area as it is, but I almost always feel like, once again, Dune's going to really wipe out a lot of these, and I think Dune's going to win for Best at Cinematography at this as well. Okay, so what's another good category? Best Animated Feature, Encanto, Flea, Luca, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, and Raya and the Last Dragon. That's going to be a fun category as well, too, but... I've, once again, I've seen, uh, maybe, what, what is it, one, two, I've only saw three of the five. Uh, not being fair to the others, but I, if I were to choose one, uh, if I had to choose, it would be Ray and the, the Last Dragon for me. I really liked that movie a lot. It was uh, the Disney movie that came out last March, and I can't wait to watch that again, believe it or not, because it was really a fun film, this as well, too. If you guys have not seen Ray and the Last Dragon, I would strongly recommend the film, this as well, too. Okay, uh, Best Supporting Actress, uh, uh, Jesse Buckley for The Lost Daughter, Ar Arana DeBrose of West Side Story, Judy Gench for A Bellafest, Kristen Dunst for The Power of the Dog. Oh, see this writing is so small, I can't see it. And uh, Andre Ellis of Kane Richard, if I'm saying that right name right. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, sorry. Uh, this writing is so small. Just take a look at this. I'm trying to read from the splits. This is pretty small. 
<laughs> there's paper in back here too uh, to make it bigger but there's like five separate pages i'm trying to look through one sheet as it is uh what about okay best actress jessica chesson for the eyes of tammy faye olivia coleman the lost daughter penelope cruz for parallel mothers nicole kimmon being the ricardos kristen stewart spencer i still have yet to see that movie at uh, spencer i've heard really good things about it i heard that kristen uh, stewart did a really good job with the film of course, once again, the best actress is going to be a really tough category because everyone in this category is outstanding as it is. Especially with Nicole Kidman being, uh, being the Ricardos. was actually a really good film. I saw the film and she really, she really nailed down the character so well. Lucy Oball, outstanding. If Once again, if you have not seen that, being the Ricardos, uh, check it out, that, that out. Uh, I'm going to move on to best supporting actor. Uh... uh See the right is so small. Uh, Karen Hens for a Bella Fest. Uh, Troy Gruster for uh, Coda. Uh, Jesse Femmins for The Power of the Dog. J.K. Simmons for Being the Ricardos. And Cody Smith McPhee for The Power of the Dog. Wow. A lot of good uh, actors in that category, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move. Uh, I'm kind of moving up as this uh, towards more of the best actor, best original screenplay, and all that. I don't. So let's go up for Best Actor, uh, Javier Abelam for Being the Ricardos, Benedict uh, Kubrick for The Power of the Dog, Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom, Will Smith for King Richard, and Denzel Washington for The Tragedy of Macbeth. I still have not seen a, a movie, The Tragedy of Macbeth. If you guys have seen The Tragedy of Macbeth, leave some comments down below tell me how, how you like that film, okay? Okay, so Best Original Screenplay, Bella Fest, uh, Don't Look Up, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, and The Worst Person in the World. That's a fun little category as well, too. All these are pretty fun. I'm going to be real excited to see what's going to, uh, the outcome's going to be come uh, March 27th for this Oscars. Okay, so Best Adapted Screenplay, Coda, Drive My Car, Dune, The Lost Daughter, and The Power of the Dog. And that's another one, too, I have not seen. I think the, you can actually see The Power of the Dog on a streaming device as it is now. I got to check a lot of these movies out. There's a lot of these movies I have not seen. Okay, so best director. See, I have to talk in between here. That way I can kind of save my breath for each category as it is. Okay, so this is really one of the strong areas in uh, the Oscars is a best director. It seems like in the past, it's, it best director always won. You kind of knew ahead of time what picture will actually win as it is. Okay, so for best director, we have Belfast for uh, Kenneth Abraham. Uh, drive my car, Richard K. Hamilton. I don't know if I'm not that name right, so uh, my apologies. The Chris Pizza for uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Great film. If you've not seen other Chris Pizza, I strongly recommend it. This as well. Uh, the Power of the Dog, uh, 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 Jane Campen. In West Side Story uh, for Steven Spielberg. Wow. <laughs> and uh, if you guys didn't know, too, uh, for record history, this is. Uh, for any director, Steven Spielberg has been nominated the most in, in the category of, of all Oscar history. So this is really cool. It'd be really cool to see if Spielberg can actually win this, this as well, too. Tim doing West Side Story. It was really amazing to see how he can actually uh, focus on dinosaurs in the past and uh, aliens. And now he's dealing with the musical itself. He did an outstanding job directing with a West Side Story. I, I, I really... Hope he can actually win. Uh, otherwise, I feel these other directors are just as well worthy. This as well. So we are up to the best picture category. Let's see. Abella Fest, Coda, uh, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. So once again, uh, this is really a little more harder to actually win because there's 10 movies to uh, this category. I, I kind of wish they were to go back to the five and five because uh, this is really should be really split up to a best adapted screenplay, best original screenplay. There's, uh, if, even if, if I go back, uh, uh, Bella Fest and Don't Look Up and King Richard, the Chris Pizza and uh, the worst pizza, the worst person in the world, it lies in under the best original screenplay. And so and I mentioned this, this as well in the best picture, and that's a best original screenplay. I feel these movies should really be separated. I, I don't like the fact these movies are, are, are they change this category up to 10 films as it is. 
Oh, so I think this, uh, I comment to you guys as well too. What do you guys uh, actually think about the uh, Oscars going, going to a best picture for uh, 10 movies? Leave some comments down below. I know they've been doing this for a while. Just, I kind of wish they would go back to a uh, five and five for a, a best original screenplay and best adapted screenplay. So anyways, what do you guys actually feel about this, this as well too? Were, were you real recognized uh, with these uh, films? Have you seen any of these films at all? Uh, let me let, look back, best, back in best picture for a second. Maybe like see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've seen six films out of the ten, which is kind of good, I gotta say. And I feel since we just have a couple more weeks uh, towards this uh, Oscars uh, for the uh, what is it, a ninety fourth annual? Wow, I'm up to ninety fourth. That's gonna be cool in six years. I get the hundredth annual Academy Awards. But I, I feel this is a strong area for Best Picture. I can't wait to see what happens. There's a couple of movies uh, that are on uh, Apple Original. And we got Netflix, this as well, too. And and then we've got movies uh, competing with, for, of course, uh, Disney. Netflix. Oh, there's another Netflix on here for The Power of the Dog. So I like the fact they are uh, looking at uh, overviewing movies from uh, movies that are actually streaming as it is. Because I, I feel those movies don't usually get a, a lot of credit for this. So. The last couple of years in the West Picture category, it really has been recognized, especially it seems like during the COVID-19 when it first got started, they really were focusing on movies on streaming rise since the themes were not open as it is. But I'm glad uh, the future will be this way. Hopefully it sticks this way for uh, actually recognizing movies that uh, come to the streaming rise this as well too, because those movies are just as worthy this as well. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to uh, this once the time actually gets closer to the uh, Oscars, which is March 27 in a couple of weeks, the week of it, I will fill out one of these belts. That way, it actually gives me some time to see uh, some of these pictures ha I have not seen yet. Uh, like again, I said, I've only saw six out of the ten for a uh, best picture, and I'd like to uh, see a little more. I can actually check out uh, Drive My Car now, uh, which is, I believe is on one of the uh, streaming devices. I forget which, which one it is. And um, which other one? I, I have not seen K King Richard. I would like to go ahead and see that just as well, too. That Will Smith movie. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot to see. And we can, I can even watch West Side Story now because it's on HBO Max as well, too. So you can rewatch stuff, uh, movies, and I can actually watch movies I have not seen yet. This is real exciting. Uh, once again, once the time gets closer, I will give those predictions. And uh, what do you guys actually feel about these uh, nominations? Well, any predictions as it is quite yet? <laughs> so anyways, I can start wrapping things up saying, my name's Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the movies next time. Thank you for watching.